Good morning, it's bright and early. Today we'll be going up Mount Neo. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering what's Mount Neo, because it's a mountain I just made up. It's a mountain that's near Mount Anderson. Mr. Anderson. And it doesn't have a name. There's a bunch of mountains in that range that are all getting names based off the matrix. So this one is Mount Neo. There's gonna be the White Rabbit Mountain and Mount Trinity. So more than likely we're gonna need our snowshoes and micro spikes. So let's get going. Check out this golden light that's out here. Wow. Of the whip, taking off some layers. It's getting <laughs> really hot going up here. Uh, the snow's not that deep, but we are snowshoeing uphill, so. We got this waterfall here behind me. And check this out, it goes out underneath the road here. So under the road, you can see there the water pops out and then cascades down there. This old logging road ended up being half a river on one side, half a frozen river on the other side with a small snowy patch in the middle to snowshoe on. At this point, we entered the land of a thousand alder branches to the face, and we found this old jeep. It's in pretty good shape, free for the taking, just a little rusty. As we came around the corner, we got a clear view of Mount Neo in the distance. Oh, utterly exhausted. 
is hard work. We have to break trail going up here, so. There's a mountain peeking out up there. To our surprise, we came across this logging cut on the side of a valley, which provided fantastic views of Sprout Lake. Days like this, you don't head out expecting to get a summit. It's more just to get outside and bathe in nature's goodness. This wasn't the only, but the main river crossing of the day. This is the kind of place where if you fall, your day's over. You're gonna have to quickly get back to your car and warm up. Having soaked clothes in minus 15 degree weather isn't a good place to be. With that said, it was imperative that we took our time, had careful footsteps, and crossed this creek safely without falling. <laughs> oh, right there. Another thing to watch out for are tree wells. As we're climbing up this hill, she fell in to a tree well and caught her snowshoe on a branch about four feet down. This is a hard place to get out of without help. I'm gonna just lift it and put it back behind you. One, two, three. This has become bushwhack hell. My uh, main camera here, the shutter blades are frozen on it. So if I open it by hand, I can get it open, but the screen, the actual glass is frozen too. So I'm down to this little camera. This is the last one that actually isn't frozen. Uh, it's looking unlikely we're gonna make the summit because it's still a ways up there and this has just become horrible. It was at this moment that everything stacked up against us all at once. Alder branches to the face, cameras freezing, tree wells, post holing with snowshoes, which is a first for all of us, and the temperature was getting colder and colder as we got higher up the mountain. This mountain's on the uh, verge of breaking our spirits. <laughs> There's only so many alder branches you can take to the face before you gotta call it quits. Uh, we got a little bit of an opening here though, so we're gonna see if we can find a good view. We're starting to get a view behind me here. So this used to be old logging rope. It's gone now, it's washed out. Finally getting up over the trees.
Oh, that's about four feet down. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I'm sinking. Oh yeah. Ah. Despite not getting the summit, there's something so rewarding about challenging yourself in such a peaceful and beautiful yet hostile and cold environment. My friends end up surprising me with some hot Japanese miso ramen soup. The hot water was brought up in a thermos. Nothing's better than a hot meal on a cold mountain. Well, this is the end of the road, literally. Uh, the old slide here has wiped out the road. so. Uh, it does continue on the other side that the bushwhacking just be horrible. There's a lot of snow and fog rolling in now. It's freezing cold and uh, there's no way we'd make it to the top and get down within daylight. So that is concludes our uh, trip today. We did get an amazing view here for a few minutes though. You can see now it's just uh, fog and snow is rolling in pretty quick. And this is the bushwhack route to get over to the road on the other side, which is not really that safe to do right now. Crossing our final river. So I'm back at my house now, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. All my cameras froze, even the camera I'm using here, the buttons froze, so I couldn't even turn it on, and all my other cameras froze, I, the batteries wouldn't even turn on, it was just so cold. So I'm just glad we got, were able to get a nice summit view, and we actually found a second logging spur with another view, so it was pretty nice. I'll have to go back there in the summer and actually bag the summit of Mount Neo, as I'm calling it. <laughs> Sorry, I can name mountains that don't have mountain names. That's how this works. If you go up them, you can name them. Uh, so if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to support me, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash David Hiking. I appreciate it if you could share the video or like it or leave a comment. And until next one, have a great day.